what's good, Star Wars fans? It's happening once and for all. It's happening for real. Believe it or not, we're finally getting an open world Star Wars game. And no, it's not being done by EA, but rather actually Ubisoft. This news comes shortly after the news that came out earlier this week of LucasArts coming back but will now be trading under the name of Lucasfilm Games. Unlike the old LucasArts that both developed games in-house as well contracted other game studios to make them, Lucasfilm Games will only be doing just the latter. And surprisingly, they got to work pretty fast as they already contracted Bethesda to start working on a brand new Indiana Jones game. Which goes to show that they'll be getting games done not only for Star Wars, but their other IPs as well. Pretty much exactly like the original LucasArts back in the day. So no, unlike what some folks on YouTube and news websites may say and give you false information, Lucasfilm Games is more than a simple rebrand, but the actual real deal that we've been waiting all this time for. Especially today, where we heard the big news that Massive Entertainment of Ubisoft, the same studio that made the Division games, has been contracted by Lucasfilm Games to make an open-world Star Wars game. At this time, there's still very little juicy information on this project as it seems to be in very early development. But based on the immense popularity of The Mandalorian, then if I was a betting man, I'd say this game will feature a similar kind of vibe. Perhaps set in the underworld of Star Wars where you may play as a smuggler or a bounty hunter. Or heck, even better, who knows, maybe even as a Mandalorian. Either way, this is only good news for everyone who wanted an open world game set in the Star Wars universe, but never really got one, EA didn't want to give us one, so Lucasfilm Games gave us exactly what we wanted. Now, sure, it's a game by Ubisoft and not by CD Projekt Red or Rockstar, which I'm sure a lot of people had originally wanted. But we're in a situation where it's gonna be either Ubisoft giving us an open world game or no game at all, and I'd rather take Ubisoft than nothing. I'm sure a lot of you may agree with me on that statement. And sure, granted, Ubisoft also have a spotty history and have put out duds of their own in the past. So while it's great that we have other companies making Star Wars games now, we also shouldn't go into this expecting that every single game not made by EA is going to be some amazing and perfect achievement of gaming. Because hey, even bad Star Wars games came out under LucasArts, and not every game was a gem after all. But regardless, I'll take this to only getting a handful of games from EA. Who knows, Ubisoft may surprise us yet. And besides, this is massive entertainment after all, the same guys who brought us The Division. And while I didn't play the second Division, I loved the first Division. Yeah, it got a little repetitive at the end, but for the time, that game was pretty sweet. Now, as for any EA fanboys wondering about their exclusive game license, while neither Disney nor EA have come out and said that the deal is officially cancelled or simply won't be renewed, but based on the simple fact that we're getting Ubisoft making a Star Wars game now, which a few years back was something that none of us would ever think would be possible, then this I'd say obviously goes to show that that deal with EA won't be renewed. And honestly, I don't know about you, but I don't feel bad about this at all. EA will still be making Star Wars games, and they made that quite clear with their recent tweet after the Ubisoft announcement. But of course, they just won't be the only company allowed to make them like before. So while this news is terrible for EA, it's awesome for us gamers, and I think that's something even the EA fanboys can agree on. If us gamers are winning and we're getting a whole bunch of new Star Wars games, then come on, how can you consider that as a loss? 
Seriously, Lucasfilm Games wasn't messing around when they said that they're now moving into an exciting new direction and future. And hey, we're all strapped in for that ride. But before I go, tell me what your ideal Star Wars open world game would look like. Would you want it to be done similar to the Assassin's Creed games that Ubisoft does, or maybe something more so closer to Red Dead Redemption 2 or The Witcher 3? Let me know down in the comment section below, and remember, for all your Star Wars news, keep it here at Asylum.